This is what you will get for your story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. One paper that has the little goat, the medium goat, and the large goat. As you can see, you have two for each goat. And there are two because you're gonna fold it after you finish, and they're gonna become a double-sided prop. So, I'm going to teach you how to color your goats. This technique is called the outline technique. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna outline, go on top of the line, and that means to outline the goat like this. This is what it means to outline your figure. And this technique is very good for kids that don't really like to take a lot of time coloring. And it always will look pretty. Now, the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to make a hairy goat. This is one way to do your goats. And these are only ideas for you to experiment, but you will decide at the end which one you would like to do on your goats. So for a hairy goat, I just do little lines like that. I fill my goat with little lines, and then I will fill in with a Crayola. And that way, you can always see the face. It doesn't cover like a marker would do the face like that. And it would look real pretty. The other technique, it's called dot it. I call it confetti technique. And what I do is I also outline my goat like that, the same way. And I'm only gonna do a little piece right now. And then what I do inside the goat is I just dot it like that, confetti like that, dot, 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 see? And I can choose to do one color or add more colors to make it like a fiesta, a fiesta goat, <laughs> like that. And you can pick to color it in like this little first goat, the same color, or another color like that. Or you can pick to add more colors and see how that looks. So you get the idea, you can do that as, as you wish. Now for the bigger goat, um, I'm gonna pick a different marker, let's say green. And you can outline like that. I'm just gonna outline a little bit. And you, what you can do inside is swirls. Swirls like that, little swirls and bigger swirls. Just to give it a different look for the older goat. See, and the circles don't have to be perfect. And it looks pretty fun. So any way you wanna color in your goat, that's gonna be beautiful. See? And then you color in with a Crayola. Crayolas are great for that look, how they look. And the good thing about these goats is that are make-believe, so you can do them any color you wish. Or you can go with brown or gray or black and white like the original ones. So let me show you how they look finished. You will have your three goats and they will be reversible. And you can choose to do them the same like this or, or different, these are all the same like that. And here is another idea. And that's how they look finished. 